welcome back to my channel. I am Casey. If you are new, welcome. Welcome everyone. If this is your first time, I am a personal wardrobe stylist and I love teaching styling tips and tricks because I truly feel that if you look good, you're going to feel better about yourself. And we all love that feeling. Today we are going to talk about how to fit and flatter your rectangle body. This is part of my body shape series. So if you just popped in here, and maybe aren't a rectangle or don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you don't know what your body shape is, then check out this video right up here that I'm going to link to. I will also link it down below. That is going to help you figure out what your body shape is or answer any further questions that you may have. So check that out and then come back here when you're done. Now, if you are still here, I'm assuming that you are a rectangle body. So welcome, happy to have you. Let's get into this. We're gonna talk about what it means to have a rectangle body, different celebrities who share your same body shape so that you can figure out what they're wearing and see if you like it or if you need to be avoiding it. We're also gonna talk about some general styling goals that you're gonna to wanna to follow. And then most importantly, what I like to think of as the meat of this is what clothes are going to fit and flatter your body shape and also which ones you should just be avoiding, which ones we need to bench and not really be wearing because they're not going to be doing anything for your body. What does it mean to be a rectangle body shape? Well, your body would never really be described as curvy. Your shoulder, your bust, and your hip measurements are all fairly even. They're all going to be about the same measurement, give or take a couple inches. But when it comes to your waist, you're going to have a more straight waist rather than a more defined waist. Also, when you gain weight, it's gonna be more evenly distributed. So you're not gonna find that you gain a ton of weight in your butt or your hips or your chest because your weight just kinda evenly distributes when you do gain or lose it. For all of my fellow visual learners out there, hey there, I like to give you a visual reference when it comes to your body. So let's have a look at a couple celebrities that share your same rectangle body shape. We have Kate Middleton. Easy rectangle body shape. You see her belting a lot and wearing a lot of flounce to give her body some more definition. We also have Rosario Dawson. Love her. Two other celebrities would be Cameron Diaz. She has a very athletic looking rectangle body shape. And Anne Hathaway. Who doesn't love her? My kids have had Princess Diaries on repeat all week. So she is just like ingrained right here, right now. If you Google these ladies or even rectangle celebrity bodies, you are going to see a lot of what they're wearing. You're going to see a lot of commonalities. One that I see is a lot of belting. You're also going to see a lot of ruffles and flouncing and flared skirts. Let's have a look at some styling goals for your body. And these are goals that when you are dressing yourself that you're just going to want to keep in your mind. One thing that is really great about a rectangle body is you are already well proportioned and well balanced. The only other body that has really good balance is an hourglass and a well balanced body is what you want. So now you have two different options when it comes to styling your body. You can just forget the curves. You don't want to add any curves and you want to play up that rectangle body. So that is one goal that you could have. The other is maybe you want to add some curves. In that case, you're going to focus on nipping in your waist and creating volume up here and down here to give you that well proportioned balanced body. For both of these options, whether you are going long and lean or creating curves, you are always going to want to define your waist. So just keep that in mind as we go about the next part of this. Let's get into the meat of this. Which clothes are going to fit and flatter your body? And let's start at the top. Let's start with your neckline. Choosing a neckline for your body depends on which of the two dressing strategies you're going for. If you want to create curves, then a scoop neck or any open neckline is going to draw the attention upwards and visually lengthen your shoulders and your bust area. If you throw in puppy sleeves, big collars, lace trim, ruffles, that is going to keep the attention up here and also just create more movement in your silhouette. A sweetheart neckline or off the shoulder necklines are also going to be a great option for you. If you want to accentuate your slender look, then you're going to do the opposite and you're going to opt for more narrow necklines. These are your turtlenecks, your mandarin collars, crew necks, 
and even any halter tops. Just remember that even if you are keeping more to a slender look, you still want to accentuate your waist. Wrap style tops or belted tops are also really good options. Even those cute shirts or sweaters that have a pussy bow right here, I hate that word, but that's a technical term, <laughs> are also good options for you because it's gonna create more volume and interest to your upper half. No matter what shirt you choose though, keep in mind that it should always end at your hip level. You want to avoid anything that is cropped because it's just gonna make your body look even more boxy, which is not what we're going for. Another tip that I have is to invest in a good bra. A well-fitting bra is essential for all rectangle bodies because it's gonna help you make the most of the curves that you do have. And if you want to make your bra a push-up bra, be my guest, I would never say no. Um, I think anybody could probably use a push-up bra, especially if you have had kids. If you know, you know. When it comes to outerwear, defining your waist should still be a big priority. Jackets that have nipping or belting at the waist will help create some shape. Also embellishments, whether it's double breasting or wide lapels, is also going to give you a little bit more shape and movement to your rectangular frame. And just like your tops, jackets should also hit at or below your waistline. So you're going to want to avoid that poppy look. And even better, if you can find jackets that flare out at your hips, it's also just gonna give your body more volume and movement, which is something that we are looking for. Because your body is so easy to dress, just because it is so well proportioned, you can have a lot of fun when it comes to fun, bold patterns or thicker textures or movement in lines. There's just not a lot of rules for your body shape. I am feeling pretty good about tops and jackets. How are you feeling? Should we move on to bottoms? Because of your rectangle body shape, you can get away with a lot of different styles of pants. You don't have to worry about them being too tight. And in fact, if you want to wear tighter pants, that's just gonna create the illusion of more curves, which is a good thing for your body. Here are some of your power pieces. Like I said, a lot of pant options are gonna look good on you, but these ones are going to look great. And really, you wanna find any trousers that create more volume on bottom, whether that is a boot cut, a wide leg, anything that just flares out. Even embellishments like whiskering on your jeans or tears or pleats, these are also just gonna create more movement and volume and balance out your body. Since you have a more angular frame, go ahead and soften those lines by wearing softer, more fluid fabrics. This is your linens or your silks. Even styles like palazzo pants or heavily pleated trousers are gonna give you that same effect. Now let's talk about jeans because I love them. And the ones that are gonna look the best on you are once again, the ones that have a little bit of a flare. So like a demi boot cut. And a demi just means half. So you're not gonna want a full heavy bell bottom. That's not gonna look good on you. Just keep it minimal. Just a little flare out at the legs is all you're gonna need. If you want a skinny jean option to accentuate your legs, then choose one that is tight because that tightness is going to show off the curves that you do have. I would say to avoid any straight leg jeans because that's just going to create more rectangles to your body, which isn't what we're looking for. Now let's move on to dresses. You wanna know the hardest part? Narrowing them down. Basically, any style is gonna look good on you. So it just depends what you want. But here are a couple that I think look exceptional on your rectangle body frame. The first would be a fit and flare. It's a killer option because it defines your waistline, but then it flares out at your hips and just creates some movement to your silhouette. Another good option would be a wrap dress or an empire waist. Once again, they define the waist, but then just create more movement to your silhouette. Feel free to belt anything and everything, especially looser, flowier dresses. You really want to be defining your waist to play up your silhouette. If you opt for a dress or a skirt that has a wide flare or heavy pleating, just be sure to balance it out also on top. And that can be done with the puffy sleeves or ruffles. Just remember that it is all about balance. Like that is the end goal in all of this is for your body to have really nice balance. Lastly, let's talk about accessories because when it comes to them, you can have a lot of fun. Experiment and enjoy the bold colors and the bright patterns because you can. Wearing bold jewelry like statement earrings 
is going to bring the attention up and onto your face and your neckline, which is a good thing. And also, remember to wear your belts. Use them, abuse them, like you should have a good stash of belts on hand. Now when it comes to shoes, your legs are a great asset, so draw attention to them through the shoes that you choose. A pointed toe, whether that is in a flat or a boot, is gonna make you appear taller. And finding one in a neutral shade will also help to visually elongate your legs. So I hope these tips were helpful for you. I hope you learned something new. We talked about what it means to be a rectangle body, different celebrities that you can pull inspiration from, and some styling goals, whether you are wanting to remain looking tall and lean, or if you want to add some curves and movements to your body, we talked about the goals that will help you achieve that. And lastly, we talked about clothes that are going to fit and flatter your rectangle body shape. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible when you are dressing yourself in the morning. If you learn something new, please give this video a like. You can also hit that bell icon next to subscribe and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. So thank you for listening and I will see y'all next time. Bye.